everyone, I'm Waga Warrior, aka Julie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, Wago stands for when you get old. Alright, I am so excited. My Ipsy boxes usually arrive super late. I received this on March the 11th. That is super early, at least for me. But what it means is I'm filming midweek, and yes, I usually am a little extra. <laughs> When I film midweek, I also, I threw on some lip products, but this is what I look like after working all day, and yes, I get up at the crack of dawn, and I don't put on an eye look when I go to work. All right, enough rambling. Let's dive in and refresh my memory on what came in this month's box. I just remember the choices weren't spectacular, but they weren't as bad as they were for the Icon box. They still weren't good, but slightly better. All right, the first item is one of the Power Picks. It's from Elemis. This is the Peptide 4 Eye Recovery Cream. Now, when I saw this was a Power Pick, I thought, ooh, bougie, ooh, yes, an eye cream from Elemis. Um, however, I just started using this exact same product this week. Um, hello, and guess where this came from? An Ipsy box in December of 2021. Do, do you consider two years plus have gone by, so it's okay if it's a repeat? Shouldn't they keep track? I don't know, they had other power picks that could have gone in my box instead of this repeat item. Um, I do like eye creams and Elemis is really bougie. It has a squeezy tube. Um, wait, now I forget which one is the one that just came in my box. Which one? Okay, this one's cold, so I'm going to assume it's the one in the box. Um, I will have a video out at some point in the future. That's what it looks like. It's, it's a nice, it's a nice eye cream. And finally, after four plus years of collecting Elemis products, doing a try on using only Elemis skincare and beauty products. So if you're curious about that, it will be probably next month. The MSRP for the eye cream is $49, which is the same price it was in 2021. The second power pick is this eyeshadow palette from Wander Beauty, which is called Trailblazer. Let's take a look at this palette. Ooh, okay. This is right up my alley. It's a beautiful, uh, it's a little darker than neutral, but it has neutral type shades, some beautiful shimmers. I'm gonna do a separate try on, but I have to swatch some of these shimmers because they are too beautiful. I'll even do that uh, green shade. So that's what they look like on my hand. And there they are swatched. Ooh, those have some pigment. The palette retails for $42, so between the Elemis Eye Cream and the Wander Beauty palette, my $32 box is definitely paid for. Let's dive into my choice items. I don't remember the order, but I will uh, post on screen what my choices were. As I mentioned, they weren't horrible, but they still weren't spectacular. I don't know. Leave me your thoughts and opinions. If you get Ipsy, did you have better choices? Do you think I'm being picky? Do you like the choices I had? I don't know, just lately I feel like it's a little meh. All right, so whatever choice this was, ooh, my lights are making it hard to see. This here is from Jasmine Beauty, and it is the Beachside Bronzer in Light. Um, I was excited to see this product um, ooh, it's looking really dark for a shade called Light, um, but hopefully it blends out. Yeah, that seems a little dark, but I own it. We're going to swatch it. Let me comment if you think that's light. No, I would not call that light at all. Is it going to blend out? That is very dark. I would even say that's darker than a medium shade? That might be, wow, okay. Um, I wish they would let you choose 
your actual shade. BoxyCharm used to do that. You could actually pick which shade you wanted. I'm curious if this is their lightest shade. It's called light, but sometimes brands will have light and then under that will be, I don't know, like porcelain or something lighter than light. That is quite dark. We will have fun dealing with that in my try on video. What does that retail for? Wow, $28, which isn't super expensive for a bronzer, but for a bronzer from a brand I'm not really familiar with. Actually, I want to say last month I got something from this brand. Was it a brow gel or no, maybe that was in an allure. I don't know. I'd never heard of this brand until recently. All right, next item. Yes. Okay. I was excited to see this. Not that I know the brand, but I love getting sunscreens in boxes. So this here's from a brand called Ever Eden and it's an SPF 50 premium mineral sunscreen lotion. All right. So it's kind of small. I'm going to guess 30 ml or 50. How many? 60 ml. Okay. But what's nice or cute is it has one of those little handles. Not that I'm fancy or have like a little clip on, but if you do have a clip, to put onto your backpack or your purse or whatnot if you're going to the beach, that is quite handy. All right, and then the last product is from a brand I've not heard of called TYS Beauty. This here is the Jelly Lip Butter. And is there a shade? I guess jelly is the shade. So of course, I threw on like three layers of lip products because I didn't think I had a lip product in this uh, box. Ooh, that's really cute. I like the packaging. It's flat, so if you put it on a table, it's not gonna roll away. Oh, I'm curious if that pink is gonna just be sheer or if it's gonna be actually pigmented. Let's sniff it and see if it has a scent. Mm, I was hoping it'd be like strawberry or some kind of fruity scent. It has like a sugary, vanilla-esque, very soft and subtle. All right, here is the swatch. Can you see it? No, it's fairly clear, which I'm fine with. All right, um, I'm not even gonna bother trying it on because you won't be able to see it, but I will test it out in my try on video. All right, what does that retail for? The Lip Butter Jelly retails for $20. All right, that was everything that came in my box, but I did pick up one add-on. I got the Yensa Supreme Serum concealer um, because it didn't come in my box. I was so sad, but luckily I was able to pick it up if you look at it that way. I wanna say it was $12, maybe 18, I can't remember. Um, let's do a swatch. Also, what shade did I get this in? I got this in Fair 2, and of course, I've already found a really, really nice concealer. Um, I have a review video if you missed that. I will link it above. But I really love um, the foundations and BC cream from Yenta. So I, I really wanted to try their um, concealer, which maybe I should have gone down a shade. Or was this a lighter shade? My lights are washing it out in person. It's just kind of yellowy. Um, and a little darker than had I been able to swatch it and pick it up, but hopefully it will work because I own it. All right, let's recap everything I got in the March 2024 BoxyCharm by Ipsy. I got the Peptide 4 Eye Recovery Cream from Elemis, the Trailblazer Eyeshadow Palette from Wonder Beauty, the Shea Butter Lip Gloss from TYS Beauty, the SPF 50 Premium Mineral Sunscreen from Ever Eden, and the Beachside Bronze from Jasmine Beauty. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are, this is one of the better boxes I received recently because these are products I will use every single one of them. However, I question the shade of this bronzer. It really seems like it's gonna be too dark for my fair skin. How can they call this fair? Um, this was the product I was most excited about because I love contour bronzers or any complexion product, but seeing this in person, mm, I don't know that that shade is gonna work out for me. Um, we will give it a try. Uh, SPF, yes, please. 
eye cream, I was kind of excited, but now that I know I already own it, not as much. I love a good uh, lip product, and it's been a hot minute since I've received an eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna list the MSRP total value. I'm guessing we're looking at at least $150 value, but I could be wrong, which more often than not I am. All right, now I wanna hear from you. What did you think of my box? Did you get your box yet? And if so, were you happy with your choices and the power picks you received? Were you lucky enough to get the Yensa concealer as a power pick? If so, leave me a comment and let me know what your beauty profile is set to. All right, I wanna thank each and every one of you for stopping by, I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And if you could do me a big favor, clicking the thumbs up, it really does help with my channel to grow. All right, thanks everyone.